Adventures of Ellen White and the Pioneers. Are you taking care of your temple? When Elder and Mrs. White began to teach about the second coming of Jesus, they did not realise that one by one they would be teaching other new Bible truths to the people. After the great disappointment, they started teaching about the sanctuary and the investigative judgment going on in heaven now. And then they learned about the seventh-day Sabbath, and they taught that to the Adventists. But there was still another important truth they had not yet learned at this time, and that was how to take care of their health. They were so busy studying, teaching, travelling and preaching that they did not take care of their own bodies. They worked too long and often travelled at night when they should have been sleeping so that they would get to the next meeting on time. And they ate whatever they wanted to and whatever food they liked, not realising that some kinds of food were not good for them and some were even forbidden by God. Step by step, God was leading these faithful ones who had come out of the false churches and now God was ready to give them the message of health. How to take care of the wonderful body that God has given to each one of us. We read in Genesis 2 verse 7 how God formed and shaped man with his very own loving hands and then he breathed his very own breath into that body to make it alive. And the Lord God formed a man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul. I am sure we all agree with David when he said in Psalm 139 verse 14 I will praise thee for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. What does the Bible call our body? 1 Corinthians 6 verses 19 to 20 says, What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit which is in you, which you have of God, and you are not your own? For you are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Now isn't that interesting? These bodies are not really ours. They belong to God. Firstly, because God created us. And secondly, because Jesus bought us back from Satan with his own blood when he died on the cross to save us from sin. That is what it means. You are bought with a price. But God allows us to take care of these body temples. God in his great wisdom and goodness to sinful men did not give Mrs. White a vision telling the Adventists to stop all their bad habits at one time. If he had, many might not have been able to do that and might have become discouraged and said, it's too hard to be an Adventist. But God did not do that. He only gave Mrs. White a vision about a few things on health at first. In 1848 she was shown in vision that tobacco, tea and coffee were harmful to our bodies. Sister White did not use tobacco, but she was drinking tea and coffee, and after this vision she never drank them again. There are hundreds of people who are being poisoned by nicotine in the cigarettes they start smoking early in life, and someone might ask, but doesn't this nicotine poison and hurt people? Yes, it does, and many of them get quite sick, and many of them die, especially when they get older, from smoking these harmful cigarettes. The poison sometimes causes them to get lung cancer, and tuberculosis or heart trouble, but cigarette factories keep right on making these poisonous things so that they can make lots of money, and they fool people into believing that it's okay to do this, and people cannot stop. If you will watch someone who is smoking, you will notice that if that person is going to his church on Sunday, he will throw his cigarette away before he goes inside the church or temple of God. He'd not think about taking the old smelly thing into the holy temple of God. But we read in 1 Corinthians 3 
verses 16 and 17. Know ye that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy, for the temple of God is holy, which temple you are. The word defile means to dishonor or to make unclean. So we can see that it's a very serious thing to defile or dishonor these body temples that God has given us to take care of. Later, Sister White was given other visions. She said, I saw in vision that it was a sacred duty to attend to our health. Let's turn to 3 John verse 2 and see what the Bible says about our health. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou may prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospers. Of course God did not want the Seventh-day Adventists to drink any alcohol, liquor or wine, just as he did not want Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego to drink King Nebuchadnezzar's wine. And because these four young men were faithful and would not dishonor their body temples, God blessed them with better health than all the other young men, and instead of wine, they drank only pure, fresh water. Here is a story about how God blessed Elder White when he drank only pure, fresh water. Elder and Mrs. White had been attending some meetings in Connecticut, and now that the meetings were finished, Elder White needed a job to earn money to buy their tickets to attend another meeting in New York. He had got a job cutting hay in a big field where several other men were also working. He was given a big scythe. The other men were rough farmers and they did not like the idea of having a preacher work with them. He's not used to hard work, one of the men said. Let's run him down and drive him from the field. Elder White did not know that the men felt this way. He and Mrs. White had prayed that morning that God would give him strength to do this hard work. The men were to work together, one following a little behind the other in front of him, and the men put Elder White in the front to start because this was the hardest place to work. They did not think that he could keep ahead of them, but Elder White worked so hard and he did keep ahead of the men, and at lunchtime the other men ate their lunch and drank some whiskey but Elder White drank only pure cold water. At the end of the first day's work, one of the men said to Elder White, Mr. White, when you came to work this morning, we were anxious to get rid of you because we didn't want a preacher working with us. But we have to give you credit for being a better mower than any of us, and you didn't even drink any beer or whiskey. Elder White thanked God for answering his prayer and for giving him special strength to be a good witness for these rough men. In order to please God, we can be clean people. We can keep our bodies clean, and our clothes clean, and our homes clean, and even our yards clean. Mrs. White was also shown that we must be very careful about what we eat. At that time, the Adventists did not know that they were not supposed to be eating pig or other unclean animals that are listed in the Bible. But all these things were slowly shown to Mrs. White. In fact, she was shown that we will have better health if we do not eat any meat at all, but just eat a diet with simple food like God gave to Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, food grown from the ground, such as fruits, nuts, grains and vegetables. When Mrs. White was shown all this in vision, she was determined to stop eating meat, vinegar, spices and other things. She knew it would be hard for her because she liked meat more than any other food. But she wanted to eat simple food, clean food, wholesome food. She asked the cook not to prepare any more meat. At meal times, she went in to eat. The table was full of good food. Sister White had thought she was hungry, but when she saw that there was no meat on the table, she decided that she was not hungry and finally left the table. 
and when it was time to eat again, Mrs. White knew she was hungry now. But after sitting down and looking over the table and seeing no meat there, she left the table. It was very difficult for her to make this change. Once more Mrs. White was called to eat, and this time she eagerly hurried to the table. There was not meat there, and she really longed for it. But this time she did not go away from the table, and she said, I placed my arms across my stomach, and I said, You wait until you can eat bread. And it was not long until she really began to enjoy the good, simple food which God gave us to eat. And even though Mrs. White was the Lord's special messenger, she still had the same struggle with appetite that we all have. God gave Mrs. White many visions to teach us how to keep our body temples clean and healthy. And if we follow these teachings, someday we will also eat from the tree of life in heaven. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 31 says, Whether therefore you eat or drink, or whatsoever you do, do all to the glory of God. And this is exactly what Mrs. White tried to do. Come and join us next time to hear about a baptism in the ice.